Deep underground in Switzerland, scientists flipped the switch on the world's largest machine this week, bringing the Large Hadron Collider back to life. They're hoping to unveil the secrets of the universe. But how exactly they're going to do that is best described by our science correspondent, the host of Quirks and Quarks, Bob McDonald. So, Bob, the Large Hadron Collider is up and running again after two years of upgrading. What's new this time around? Well, what's new, Wendy, is that it's running at twice the power that it was before, making it the most powerful accelerator on the planet. We've never had a machine like this, and uh, I think of it as sort of a telescope, a telescope that looks back to the very beginning of time, to the Big Bang, when our universe began. It was a time when everything was so hot and so dense that all the stuff that we know of today, uh, people, molecules, atoms, uh, whatever, you know, protons could not exist because it was so hot and so dense, everything would get squished together into some huge energy ball that we cannot create today. And it was out of that that everything we know was created. So the best way to do that today, the only way we know how to do that is to smash things together at tremendous energy and see what comes out. So how exactly does it work? Like how do they replicate the Big Bang? Well, it takes a lot of energy. They've got this gigantic ring 27 kilometers around in Geneva, Switzerland, with huge, powerful magnets that can take pieces of atoms. They take protons and they spin them up uh, almost to the speed of light. And they're going in opposite directions and then they hit them together. And then when they hit them together, there's tremendous pressure and uh, temperature created there in a very, very tiny space for a short time, and then stuff flies out. So let me show you what I mean. I've got a couple of objects here, and suppose this is all we could see. I mean, they kind of look like eggs, and we don't know what's inside them. But if we can smash these together at tremendous speed, maybe we'll get a surprise. Now, I've never done this, by the way, Wendy, but uh, let's see what happens when I just smash these two things together really hard. We go like this. <laughs> My goodness, and we get particles. Now, these particles that have come out only exist for a very short time because they only existed at the beginning of the universe. But they tell us what that was like and how we got here. So the last time they ran this, they, ran the, they found the famous Higgs boson that is responsible for giving us things like mass, why we're solid. So who knows what they're going to find this time until they actually do it. Well, your experiment just saved the world billions of dollars in research. That's brilliant, Bob. But this is a big deal for scientists, obviously. What does it mean to the average person? Well, it doesn't mean anything to us right now. It's fundamental science, Wendy. It's trying to understand the nature of the universe, some of the forces, things like gravity. Wouldn't it be nice if we could turn that off? And it might not have much to do with us today, but all of the great ideas, all the great innovations have come out of asking fundamental questions like this. So let's see what our children and our grandchildren benefit from it in the future. Sounds good. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Wendy. Bob McDonald.